While powwows are an important part of many Native American cultures, they're not traditionally Cherokee. Cherokee powwows are a way for us to celebrate and honor Native Americans of all tribes. There's a lot of education in powwows. There's a lot of respect. The drum is the heart. That's why they said in the middle. This is Bell, Oklahoma. My name is Thomas Muskrat, and I'm a Cherokee, full blood Cherokee, and I speak the Cherokee language, speak English too. <laughs> when I went to a boarding school, Shlaco, and there was a lot of different tribes there, and got thinking about it. I said, I won't put on a powwow. And there's where it started. A powwow is a gathering, different tribes. It's social. Something that turkeys never did do. It comes from the Western tribes, northern tribes, this powwow is here is to show the Cherokees the powwow. There's a lot of rules that you got to know. Number one is respect. There's not just one religion around this power. The grounds are always prayed over and blessed. Eight o'clock is power time. If you got a bunch of dancers, you're going to have a power till midnight. Tell you everything's over. Come. Competition powwow is for the dance for money, for a prize. The judges, they watch your steps and the beat of the drum. You gotta stay with your drum. I ran a director and the MC, they kind of work together. MC, he, he's an announcer and uh, he kind of keeps things going, telling people what's going on and what dance is coming up and just stuff like that. And then the, the rear director, he kind of looks over the circle, make sure nobody gets out there and dances backwards and stuff like that. Straight dancer. Now that's probably about the oldest dance around a powwow is the straight dancer. They kind of rock their feet. Grass dancers, I like to watch them. Their footsteps and they dance like they're stomping on grass. If a camp is moving, to another area, they're the ones that goes first. Traditional dancer is a warrior. He's the one that goes out and fights the enemy and hunts deer, buffalo, telling you a story with their dance. If they're fighting the enemy, if you watch them, they'll stop. If they're carrying an eagle fan, they'll put it over their head and look around, see if anybody's watching them. 
the ladies. They got buckskin. And uh, when you see the buckskins dancing, you'll see that friends, that long friends, staying up with the drum. And then you got the cloth. To me, it would be the simplest to dance. When you hear the drum, the cloth dancer will turn to the drum and hold her fan up to honor the drum. Jingle dress. And that come from up northern country. Every tribe picked it up. Them little shiny things that hangs off their dress. It's tobacco lids. <laughs> Just rolled up tobacco lids. But they make noise when they're dancing. They've got a dance what they call a gourd dance. So that's more of a, the veterans dance, kind of praying over what they lost, pray for the ones that can't be there and what come back. It, it's pretty sad. The Fancy Dancer is a pretty new uh, dance. Probably started in the 40s. They dance on their toes. They got a fast music they dance to. Them guys are flying when they're dancing. It's not just a slow motion when the drum stops. That's where it excites me, the way they can just stop with the drum. Those people are wearing eagle feathers, and they don't let an eagle feather touch the ground. That's one of them no-no things. <laughs> the turkeys do not have their dress code, I guess you'd call it, because turkeys didn't powwow. They were more of a stone dance. What we do is we pretty well go to another tribe and ask for permission to let, a, let us come in and do their dance. And it's, it kind of turns into a, just a, either a family or good, good friends, just it's, it's a, there's a close feeling that comes between y'all. It's a good feeling there, happy feeling. They really, and if you look around, everybody's laughing, everybody's just kind of just telling funny jokes and they have a good time. You know, a lot of people looks at me and says, you done good, you done very, very good. And I just tell them, hey, it's not me, it's you. It's the people what makes the power. 